<coughs> okay, so um, welcome back. Um, no machining or welding or fabrication or anything today. Um, uh, this uh, uh, we're, we're gonna have a look at this um, this single phase uh, motor plate mainly because AV just did a um, a uh, video on three phase motors and went over the um, the American market um, motor plates. Um, but but uh, we're lucky in a sense that um, these our um, European plates do seem to give a, a lot more information. So there's a link to the AV uh, video here. Um, it's worth having a look if you're if you're into um, or you do anything with three phase motors. But I just thought we'd have as been as this is on my bench and it has been for. Um, I don't know how long because I haven't got around to making a stand for it yet. It's actually off my the the belt sander I built. But um, after that video, I had a look at the plate on you, and it's um, it's quite uh, quite surprising the amount of information they're sort of giving you on this little plate. So uh, firstly, uh, these are tech motors. Now these are sort of um, economy. Um, motors they they are industrial rated um but they're sort of like you know the the bottom end of uh industrial motors uh this one this is a uh 0.75 kilowatt or one horsepower motor and it's like 80 80 quid you know so it's they're, they're really reasonable i use them a lot um for for different machines and uh i'm finding very good but anyway so on a plate obviously we've got a the uh, manufacturer on our um our c marking and then they tell us here that this uh a single phase and then you've got a load of manufacturer um um numbers uh you can see you can see they've pulled um some stuff off here you've got 0.75 um kilowatt motor there i'm not sure exactly what these numbers are and then you've got b3 which is the frame the frame designation on it and then we come down here and we got this this s1 number which is um which is duty cycle uh very similar to to duty cycle with with welders uh when we buy welders they, they got uh, duty cycles on and it tells us basically um um how long or how, how much i think it's, it's done as a like as a, a a percentage of 10 minutes so if if on your welder you've got um you've got um a 60 percent duty cycle at 200 amps you can weld for six minutes out of 10 minutes at 200 amps and then it's got a um it's got a cool down and have a rest so this is um this is rated at 100 percent um continuous duty so that's at uh at 0.75 kilowatts um it doesn't tell us it doesn't give us like a, a, a service rating um i'll show you the motor on the bridge port now and i'll tell you how how long it will uh it will go over over that load okay so um i did promise you a look at the uh the bridge port motor which is um which is a, a NEMA classified uh, motor because obviously it is a uh, American uh, and it's a dual voltage uh, motor so it'll run basically anywhere from 200 200 volts to probably 400 and uh, uh, probably go a bit more now probably 480 um, volts and um, see uh, this label is basically telling you how many amps it's going to pull depending on um, what uh, what your input supply is um, but the, the what I was oh here we go yes um, so here's a frame this is an old um, obviously it's an old uh, bridge port motor but um, yeah it's, it's telling me here that if you're running it on 50 Hertz you're gonna get 1400 rpm out of it and if you're running it on 60 Hertz you're gonna get 1700 rpm out of it so it'll run a bit faster on um, 60 hertz. You've got your efficiency, yeah, so it's uh, not bad. But yeah, here's your duty cycle, yeah. So it'll run two horsepower all day long, no problem at all. But 
and I'll run at 3 horsepower for 30 minutes intermittently. So that's um, when, um, like uh, very often when motors start, you have a high um, startup load on it, or if you're doing, perhaps you're doing some real heavy cutting, then you can, you know, this will run at uh, three horsepower. Um, it also gives you the, the your uh, star or, or delta um, wiring, depending on how, or be t depending on your your input. Um, voltage. So if you if you're gonna um, wire it on two two twenty volt three phase, then you'd be wiring like this um, this one over here. Or if you're doing uh, high voltage four hundred or probably three eighty um, up to uh, four sixty, you'd be wiring it in uh, in this configuration. Yeah, and the, the way I've always remembered it is um, um, this is star, star connection, delta, stars, high up in the sky. So stars, high voltage, and that's the way you want to connect it. Right. Um, the next one then is the, the IEC um, standard that this, um, or the IEC code that is is plated to. Um, then we got this IP rate in here which is um, ingress protection um, basically stop stuff um, going in there and the first the first number uh, refers to uh, dust what well, well, solids um, and they rate it from one to I think it's one to six for solids and basically uh, most most sort of industrial class motors generally don't go under five five is probably the, the lowest you can get which is um it'll let a little bit of dust in there but it's not enough to do any harm as long as it's within a certain amount of time i, I think it's between two and eight hours um for a for a five uh rating for solids and then um if you've got a, a six so if it's an ip6 and then it's completely dust tight um or a four, a four won't let any um, big particles in. I think it's um, anything bigger than one millimeter, it won't let in. Then your second number then is um, water. Um, water goes from one to eight, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> where, so a five is, is um, uh, like a, a hose pipe. Um, for, for no more than three minutes so it's a, it's a jet of water over a three minute period um, and it won't let in enough water to do any damage they're not saying that it won't let any in but uh, it's not enough to to damage it um, a, a four rating on water is, is just a splash um, sort of splash proof then you've got um, a six rating is for like uh, jet washers, uh, powerful, and anything that's going out at sea. And then you've got seven and eight ratings. Then I've never seen a seven or an eight rated motor. Most I, the the sort of highest rating we used in uh, in industry were were IP sixty sixes, which is you know for um, powerful jets. But a seven, a seven rated uh, motor can be immersed in water for a, a period of time and an eight can can go in into pressurized um, water for a period of time without uh, causing any damage um, so that's your that's your IP rating uh, the next one then is your insulation class this is the class F um, and that is uh, to do with the windings um, class F um, uh, fucking dog class F basically means that um, the windings can go uh, up to 100 degrees above ambient and they measure ambient at 40 degrees um, okay so your next one then is your this is your frame your B3 so we know it's a B3 frame and that refers to uh, things like the shaft size 
uh, where the where the mountains are. This is a foot mount. The feet happen to be on the back, but um, so that refers to that. Um, the next one then is the weight. Um, then we've got this, which I didn't see on the American ones. And what this is is very very helpful if you um, if your motor develops a problem. What they're telling you here is your bearings. So we got D, which is drive end. So that would be uh, the end that your your shaft is on. It's a 6204 ZZ. So that's a that's shielded both sides. And then you've got ND, which is non-drive end, which is also a 60 foot 6204 uh, ZZ again, shielded both sides. Um, then you've got um, what have we got. Obviously, this is a single phase, so it's got. Um, Two capacitors in there so they're telling you what uh what rate in your capacitors are that. so basically you don't have to open any of this up uh you can leave it in duty uh you can leave it running if something's on its way out get your bits ordered and then you know so you've got minimum downtime uh then you've got your um your power factor um which is um pretty good on this one so that's not point um, 97 I know AV talked about this and uh, about plotting it um, as a triangle and although that's um, uh, pretty pretty good uh, when you work it out it's it's somewhere around uh, hang on I did work this out once yeah right it's around 14 degrees so if you imagine your um, your your triangle um, the, between your your apparent power and your and your actual power, you'll be looking at um, uh, at a fourteen degree angle there. So that's what that is. Um, your amps. So these are um, these are I believe full load amps. So it should should pull four and a half amps basically it's a 0.75 kilowatt motor it's a four pole um so it's it's pretty quick um motor if obviously if it was only a two pole it'd only be doing uh 1400 rpm um your your um frequency there uh 50 hertz which we are in the uk and then obviously your your voltage 230 volts um so there we go i hope that um i hope that helped somebody somewhere and i'll uh see you again when i got a bit more uh work to be done right thanks for watching right i've uh, i start to get into this now and i've just uh i've just dug out another motor oh which is off um sorry which is off um i don't know where it's off actually I think it might have been off a drill press, you know, one of these um, sort of uh, hobby uh, home drill presses. Um, so you can see here, uh, this is a this is a 500 watt, but but it's an S2 rating, so it will only do 500 watts for 15 minutes. After that, it's probably gonna die, I would imagine. Um, also, um, it's, it's still. Um, class F insulation and you're probably gonna spend most of your time up around that uh, that hundred degrees above ambient because like I said it's struggling and look at this yeah so this is a it's the home home use motor right and here's your IP rating so for um, dust and solids you get a two which basically means that um, you won't fall in it but that's about it everything else you know is going to end up in it and I'll show you exactly why now there do you know what I mean so <laughs> probably probably a bit of a bad idea um, considering that it's, it's going on a drill press and you're going to have swarf and, uh, and stuff like that flying about but you know that's what that is and a zero for water which means that you know you don't want to eat, 
even get it moist because it's just gonna crap out on you. Okay, so there we go. If I find any more, I'll uh, I'll add it on the end.